Hello friends, welcome to Input on Food Campus. So today in this video, we will discuss about essential latest coding question. This question is very very important because you know in essential coding test, the previous question repeats in essential coding test. So you have to prepare all and for that watch all the videos in this series because you don't know which question will repeat for you. So it's random. So you have to prepare all for the essential coding test. Okay, so today we'll discuss about the some of the leaders problem. And this is an easy type problem. So let's see what is the problem. So first you will be given some array inputs like this. So you will be giving some array elements like this 52, 66, 64, 36, 45, 24 and then 32. Okay, so you will be giving an array like this. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to find the sum of the leaders. So what is the sum of the leaders? So from the right side of the array, if you see 32 is the last element and after 32, there is no element. So 32 will be added to our output. So here is our output and we will add 32 to our output because there is no other element after 32. Okay. So we'll move to this 24 and we'll check. So we'll check if all the elements right side of 24 is smaller than 24. So you can see, no, there's 32 which is bigger than 24. So we will not add this element. So after that, we'll move here and we'll check if all the elements right side of 45 is smaller than 45. Yes, all the elements are 45. So you can see 24 is smaller than 45. 32 is smaller than 45. So we will add this element. So 45 will be added. So next we'll move to this 36. So you can see in the right side of 36, all the elements is not smaller than 36. So 36 will not be added. So next we'll see 64. So if all the elements right side of 64 is smaller than this 64, yes all the elements are smaller 32 is smaller than 64 24 is smaller 45 is smaller 36 is smaller so 64 will be added here okay okay so next is 66 so you can see if all the elements the right side of this 66 so right side of this 66 is smaller than this 66 so 64 is smaller than 66, 36 is smaller, 45 is smaller, 24 is smaller and 32 is smaller. So these 66 will be added here. Okay, so next we will see 52. So if all the elements the right side of 52 is smaller than 52, no, all the elements is not smaller, 66 is bigger, 64 is also bigger. So this will not add it here. So we will sum of all these elements. So we will sum of 32, 45, 64 and 66. And our output will be 2, 0 and 7. Okay. So this is the question. So hope you understand this question. So now we will write the code. Okay. First write the basic format here. Like as include iostream. using namespace standard and then int main so inside this main function write an array so array a and the elements of the array will be will copy it from here Okay, paste it here. So these are the array elements. Okay, so next write in n. So inside this n will store the size of the array. So what is the size of the array? So we'll write size of a. That is the size of the array. And size of size of a divided by size of array 0. Okay, this will calculate the size of the array. So in which we will do all of this operation. Okay. So suppose the name of the function is sum of leaders. 
okay inside this was array a and n okay so before this main function write this same function again and the return type will be integer because we will return the sum from here so inside this write int a that is integer array and then write int n this is the size of the array okay so inside this we will first check if the array is empty or not so if the array is empty and there is no element inside the array then we will return just minus one okay but if the array is not empty then we will do the operation so first we will store the last element so this last element will always be stored into the array because after this last element there is no element okay so this will be treated as leader so we will add this first so in our sum variable we will write this array of n minus 1 okay so we will write another variable like max so this will store the maximum so now our maximum is array of n minus 1 so this is our initial maximum value so now we'll write a for loop and we'll iterate so we'll iterate from where to where from this 24 to this 52 that is from n minus 2 to 0 okay so write the for loop here for int i equals to n minus 2 i greater equals to 0 and then i minus minus okay so we'll decrease every time okay inside this for loop we'll again check if array of i if array of i is greater than max so our initial max value was array of n minus 1 that is this 32 was our initial max value and we'll check if array of i is greater than max that is this 24 is greater than this max if this is greater than then we will make this element that is array of i we will make this element as max element okay so write max equals to array of i okay and we will add this to our sum so sum will be sum plus array of i okay so in this way we will calculate the sum of the leaders okay so so outside of this for loop we will return the sum okay so sum will be returned and we will print it as output so right here c out okay so let's run it okay friends so this is the perfect output so this is the whole code so if you have any question or queries regarding this problem then please comment below and if you find this video helpful then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so thank you for watching this video so see you in the next video till then take care